Right, welcome to another screencast from DIYPCRepairs.net. This time I've got a quick tip for you concerning Apple's new automatic downloads, which is part of their new iCloud service. And basically, if you're watching this video, you're probably already aware of what automatic downloads does. Um, any apps purchased on any other i devices, such as your iPhone, your iPad, your iPod Touch, um, running 4.3.3 and above will automatically be downloaded to iTunes when you next start iTunes up. So I'm going to cover this in two stages. The first stage here is iTunes and the second part is over on the blog at DIYPCRepairs.net and there I'll show you how to enable the same thing on your iPhone, your iPad, your iPod, uh, whichever device you're running that on. Um, so let's deal with iTunes here. Now what you'll need is you need to be running iTunes 10.3 or above um, and as of now I think at the moment we're still in beta on that um, depending on when you're watching this um, so like I say head over to Apple's site and get um, get 10.3 or above and when you've got that what we need to do if we open iTunes up um, you'll need an Apple account but obviously if you've got some sort of iDevice you've probably already got that set up um, so it's pretty straightforward so if we go up to edit and then we drop down to preferences you'll see that we'll open up the general control here and across the top you'll see that we've got store so we want to select store and that opens up the automatic downloads now I'm in the UK and unfortunately for now we don't have the music service um, if you're in the US you'll also see music here and that just works exactly the same. So all we do is we put ticks in those boxes there and any apps that I download to any other iDevice when I next start up iTunes they will automatically be downloaded and added to my library. Um, so we put the ticks in the boxes and we click OK and it's as simple as that. Now as I say head over to DIYPCRepairs.net and we'll cover how we go about doing this on um, on the iDevices on iOS 4.3.3 and uh, I'd like to thank you for viewing.